going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. Please get your favorite drink and join us around the table. You know, I always say you could be in Trinidad, Tobago on the beach and have a smoothie and mm -hmm. watching us on your laptop or whatever device you have. Or you could be in a winter storm somewhere <laughs> up in the mountains and need a cup of hot chocolate or coffee. And so get your favorite drink and join us and just let us really have a great time together. And our topic's going to be, what's the topic again? Speak to the mountain. Speak to the mountain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, they just told me, but I forgot. So I'm blonde today, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> speak to the mountain. It's going to be a great topic. So stay tuned if you're clicking through the channel don't change it was no accident that you stopped here okay and then call our prayer lines while we're going through the program 307-637-PRAY that's 7729 always be my, behind my head when we have a full shot and periodically across the bottom of the screen and always remember you are anonymous so you can feel free to call and get your breakthrough okay we love praying for you all right I'm Charlene back to Marion, your God's View host. And this right here is, I know Stephanie has really changed, but this is Stephanie's other half. He is sitting in for her because she yes. had some things um, with her church because she's a pastor and a, a, a women's pastor there. And so there were some things that she had to be there for. And so he's taking her place and his name is Dave. And you can find... Um, BeshMinistries.com. He has a book out, Bully to Blessed, that is phenomenal. Just great. I yeah, love this. Phenomenal. It. <laughs> and go there. Have him in. Yes. Read the book. You'll really be blessed. So, yes. Dave Besh. Do you like David or Dave? Oh, everybody calls me Dave. That's what they call okay. my dad. So, that's okay, what Dave. they call me now. All right. So, <laughs> he's sitting in and we welcome Dave. Yes. Yay. 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 And then Priscilla Pruitt. Yay, Priscilla. Lana Gardner. <laughs> okay. Who's going to go? Everybody go, ah. <laughs> who's going to go? I'll go. Okay. okay. For truly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes what that what he says will come to pass, he will have whatever he says, Mark eleven twenty three, And so I realize that there's really three parts to this verse. It says, whoever says to this mountain, so it's telling us to speak to our mountains. And then it says, and does not doubt, so we can't be double-minded in doubt. And lastly, it says, believes that what he says will come to pass. And so some people get one part but neglect the other parts of what it says. And so in the same breath that they speak life to their mountain, then they curse it with doubt. Mm -hmm. You know, I speak, I'm going to get healed. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but if it doesn't happen, then that's okay. Then, I, you know, I'm, I'll be fine and, you know, I'll make a way. I know God will bring a good doctor and I'll get surgery. You know, no, speak to your mountain mm -hmm. and do not doubt and believe. And so, you know, God is very clear. He gave us the antidote to the mountains in our lives. <clears throat> he says, speak, do not doubt, and believe. And so God gave us the power and the authority to speak to any mountain in our lives, and he gave us the antidote how to do it. You know, he's not the kind of parent that just throws you in a situation and hopes you figure it out. No, he gives you the handbook, his word, to guide yes. you Amen. all along your life in every situation, the financial stresses, the sicknesses, the prodigals, um, you know, whatever it may be, the baby that you're believing for, whatever the mountain may be, may be God has given us the power, the anointing, the dominion, the authority to yes. speak to all of the mountains in our lives. And he asks us, all he asks, us, asks of us is that we have <laughs> faith and that we believe and do not doubt. Yes. And so... You may ask, like, believe in what? What are we believing for? Well, believe that the Father, the God of the universe, your heavenly Father who created you, that sent his only beloved Son to die for you, that he loves you so much that he gave you all the power and authority as much as he gave his Son, Jesus. Jesus said that the same power and greater things that I do, you will do. To speak to any circumstance and know for a fact, without a doubt, that it will change. Yes. That's what you believe in. Mm -hmm. And so you see that Satan, he uses those circumstances. You know, he's like, well, you've been believing and nothing's happened. 
you know, so why, why even believe anymore? He uses those circumstances against you. He's the father of lies, but God uses it as well. And this is the cool thing that don't doubt, but believe he says, right? But because your faith journey, just like Job, who had to endure many mountains, God used those mountains to stretch him, to grow him. Mm -hmm. And he uses the same thing in ours. Even if it took 10 years to get that healing, even if it took 20 years to find that spouse, even if whatever it is, God still uses it. It doesn't go to waste to stretch you, to grow you, to strengthen you, to make you exactly. stronger, to make you wiser, to make you unshakable, to make you a warrior. And that's why his word says in Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for the good for those who are called according to his purpose. So I encourage you right now to start speaking to your, your mountains, to your situation, to that lack, to that um, sickness, to whatever that yeah, mountain may right. be. And do not doubt and believe and watch just like Job. Yeah. He got double for his trouble. You too are going to get double for your trouble. In Jesus' name, I believe it. Amen. Amen. Well, <laughs> you know, I, I was just thinking that I remember, geez, a long time ago, 25 years ago, I went to the doctor and see these little bumps on my fingers, this and this? Uh -huh. It was arthritis, but I had them all over my hands. And my hands were just filled with pain oh. and really a problem to the point where I did go to the doctor. And he gave the answer, well, you know, at your age and it will not get any better, we don't have a cure. So I went home and really got serious with the Lord. And that was one of the scriptures that I really got serious with. Aww. And then just spoke every day, mm -hmm. every day. Arthritis, because it's a spirit. It is. It is a demonic spirit That's right. that somehow I mm -hmm. let it in. And now I'm letting you out. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I speak to the mountain. I speak to arthritis. Do you ever have a conversation with arthritis or cancer? <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So you have a conversation with them. They tell them to get out in Jesus' name every day. Every day. Yes. It didn't take, it wasn't, didn't happen right away. Right. But I'll tell you what did happen when I spoke not only to the arthritis, but to the pain and tell it to leave every day, mm -hmm. it would get better and better and better. Until now, I'm totally free from it. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, I'll get a little feeling. I go, oh no, I know better yeah. now. Yep. You're not coming in here. Wow. I, I'm in the name Praise of God. Jesus. If you don't use the name of Jesus, you won't get any results. Exactly. In your prayer life, you know, when you're speaking to the mountain, no matter what you do, it's always in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because Amen. it's his power. Yes. It's his anointing. Yes. And we are his children. That's Hallelujah. Right. And we are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And everything that Jesus has, what does Jesus have? He says in 3 John 2, I wish above all things mm -hmm. that you prosper and be in health. Yeah. Why does God say, I wish? God could do anything he wants because he's teaching us. That's right. And here is the lesson. So whatever that mountain is in your life, whether it's financial, physical, your children who are rebellious, you're having difficulty at the office, Whatever it is, speak to it in Jesus' name and tell it to be removed and That's ask right. the Lord. Yeah. Just That's talk right. to him. Amen. He'll tell you what to say Amen. and how to say it. And we can all attest to you definitely do not have any arthritis because you run Amen. circles around all of us. You do. So <laughs> we have to keep up with it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's so true. Well, you know, we do have to learn to take uh, and appropriate the rightful authority that we've been mm -hmm. given. Matthew says, We've been given the keys to the kingdom. The keys yeah. to the kingdom is the kingdom of God is not meat or eat, but it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah. How can you have joy if you've had arthritis? How can yeah. you have peace if you're yeah. sinning and you're committing an adultery? How can you have peace if you've got cancer? And uh, we, we've got to learn to take it and to speak to it. You know, 10 years ago, my mother was diagnosed with terminal cancer, mm -hmm. and uh, they did not give her any hope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, Bless um, you. They did not give her any hope. They did not even want to know if they should treat her. And um, they basically gave her a death sentence. Wow. And, um, but we serve a big God. And I, and yes. I, and I called mm -hmm. my mom because my dad had passed away a few years prior to that. And I, and I said, you know, mom, you, you're, you, you, you keep talking about wanting to go see dad. She missed dad. Mm. I said, do you really want to go to heaven? Do you think it's your time? Or do you 
uh, have, feel like God has more things for you to do. Um, I said, because I can, I can pray for you, but I want to pray and be in agreement. Because right. if I'm praying for your healing, but deep down inside, you want to go see dad because you've missed him so much. She said, no, I believe God has still got more for me to do. Aww. So I flew down to Texas. And when I went into the room, I made them shut off the TV. And, and I, we took authority over it. I said, you evil demonic spirit of cancer, you take your hands off my mother in the name of Jesus. Yes. We, yes. we cancel out this assignment against her. And uh, we prayed, we prayed in the spirit, my brother and two sisters. And uh, when you feel the presence of God, I, I remember the time very vividly. And after we got done praying, my mom said she saw uh, like a monkey that was all deformed, Ooh. rolling off her body oh. and rolling away. Wow. And, um, I, and I said, just keep the TV off. And I said, just keep quoting the word of God. And, mm -hmm. and so I started reading some scriptures on healing. Every scripture that I could find on healing, through uh, just Google searching and I found hundreds and I kept reading and I said, mom, if something sticks out, just grab it and just keep, keep that in your mind and keep focusing on that and meditating on that. And uh, two or three days later, um, they, uh, they came in to do some other testing to figure out if they could treat it or not. And I, in the meantime, I had to fly out. We were going on vacation and um, they did the test and the doctor came out before I was getting ready to fly out and she said, I, I don't know what the other surgeons and doctors saw, but I'm not seeing any cancer at wow. all. And Praise they said that God. it had been in her uh, lady parts and it grew into her intestines and grew all throughout her abdominal cavity, you, that there was wow. no way they could even That's remove right. it. You know your authority. And so, you. so we're sitting in the airport in a layover in Dallas and one of my boys, I think it was Tyler, pulled up his phone and said, Mom, Dad, Aunt Rhonda just posted that the doctors came in and said they can't find any cancer. The blood work is fine. And the doctor threw up his arm and says, I don't know how to explain this because we, they, did, they did exploratory surgery, but it was speaking to that evil demonic yes. spirit of wow. cancer and telling yes. it to take their its hands off of my mother. And it's, when it's your mom, you fight, yes. right? Yes. Yes. You fight for your yes. mama. Yes. And right. she had four of her kids are fighting. Oh. And I think that's what we have to learn to do is we mm -hmm. have to fight. The Bible mm -hmm. says fight the good fight of faith. Yes. And if mm -hmm. uh, it's a good fight because we win. That's right. Yes. And we have mm -hmm. to trust and we got to keep trusting. And we got to keep trusting and keep praying. And, and, and we'll see those mountains move. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, right. uh, Zerubbabel in Zechariah 4, you know, I, I love that right there because God had given me a word of the Lord in 2010 just basically told me to put my name in where Zerubbabel was. And there was things standing before Zerubbabel to get the work of the Lord done. And when the angel of the Lord came to him, he said to Zerubbabel, um, and, you know, he says, well, what does the Lord say? And Zerubbabel says, uh, he, he answers back, and then the angel of the Lord says, it's not by might. Amen. It's not by power, but it's by, by my spirit, spirit, says the Lord. Amen. And he says, you speak to that mountain, and today it will become a mm -hmm. plain. Yes. And he ended up telling him that to shout grace, grace. He was shouting grace, grace to the capstone. And when you talk about a capstone in the Bible, that's the finished work mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. It's the finished work. It's the last thing that goes on the building project. And Zerubbabel was trying to build for the kingdom of God. And all these things would come, and he had to speak to that mountain. And he spoke to it both. This day you will become a plain. How dare you stand before the man of God, this mountain? Mm -hmm. and, and then it's, it goes as far to say that all will know that the angel of the Lord came to you today, Zerubbabel, because you did not despise the day of small beginnings. Mm -hmm. So many of you, right now I'm going to speak to this thing because many of you have uh, been questioning and seeking God and why hasn't this come to pass why has this not happened well you know what there's things number one you're still you think in that small place but guess what you still believe you speak to the mountains you tell them this day it'll become a plain mm -hmm. that it's not by might it's not by power but it's by the spirit of the living God and you keep speaking to that mountain and you get to that next season because nobody you're just not going to trot over there mm -hmm. this is a fight and God gave us like Priscilla said earlier the tools you speak to the mountain that stands before the woman or man of God mm -hmm. and and then God is shouting grace grace to the capstone the finishing work and all will know 
that God sent an angel of the Lord because mm -hmm. then you did not despise the day of small beginnings. Mm -hmm. But if you stay in this place of, oh, look at so and so, they're here, and look at look how big they are, and, and, and I'm, I'm still here, this little old, you know, ministry. You know what? You'll stay there. Yeah. You'll stay yeah. there. It's, it, Until it, you learn. It, it takes a fight. You go around the mountain, just like the Israelites, That's around, right. around, around, and never enter into the promised land. And it really is a fight. And many of you need to, one of the biggest things that you're battling is doubt and unbelief. And you need to cancel that demonic assignment against your call. Mm -hmm. You need to speak to that mountain of doubt and unbelief. And then just lay hands on yourself and release a fresh fire of faith. Yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, if you just got to say fresh fire of faith to believe and to stand and to speak to these mountains that stand before the woman of God or the man of God. And I mean, what a, what a great story we can glean from and learn from of Zerubbabel and how God sent the angel of the Lord and what he did. He did it. He rose up and he did it. And guess what? He had results. Yeah. Amen. I wanted to read James 1, 6 through 7 through 8. Actually, 7, 6 through 8. Okay. Um, it says, just make sure that you ask empowered by confident faith without doubting that you will receive. For the ambivalent person believes one minute, minute and doubts the next. Mm -hmm. Being like undecided makes you become like yes. the rough seas, driven and mm -hmm. tossed by the wind. You're up one minute and tossed down the next. When you're half-hearted and wavering, it leaves you unstable. Can you really expect to receive anything from the Lord when you're in that condition? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I ask you that question today. Can you really expect to receive anything from the Lord when you're double-minded? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he says in the other ah. version, you're unstable in all, all this man ways. does. Yes. He's unstable in, in all, all your his ways. ways. Mm -hmm. yep. And can you think that you could receive anything from the Lord? And you know, God says that this is um, a new day. Will you not perceive what I am doing? Mm -hmm. You have to perceive it. You have to believe it. You have to fight for it. Yeah. This is a fight. It's a fight to believe. You know, when God didn't ask you to go out and dig a six-foot ditch, mm -hmm. he asked you to believe. Just mm -hmm. believe. Yep. Expect it. And I'll tell you, and speak. Everybody knows by now I'm a decreer and a declarer and a Amen. proclaimer, and Amen. I proclaim every day in my living room, and mm -hmm. I march, and I proclaim and decree scripture, and, and really that's how I learned to memorize. I remember when I first came to the Lord, I thought, oh, I can't memorize scripture. I, mm -hmm. you know, I can hardly read this stuff, let alone memorize it. <laughs> and you know what? I've got all Psalms you 91. Are. I mm -hmm. speak it every day. I speak all these scriptures. I've got a whole page full of scripture after scripture because I spoke it. I decreed it. That's I good. prayed mm -hmm. it. I believed it. And when you, when and you, he says the Bible yes, to do yeah. that. Don't. And when you do, yeah, you have to declare and proclaim. And because even in a job, it says, decree a thing and it'll be established unto you. And so what you're doing is everything was created with words. So what you're doing when you're speaking to the mountain, it has to move. You have to speak it and then it'll move because everything, words are active, they're mm -hmm. live, they're mm -hmm. powerful. And when you decree the word of God, things have to come in to submission to it. It just has to. The Word of God is powerful, mm -hmm. active, more active than any double-edged sword. It doesn't matter. It pierces. It divides soul and spirit. You know, it, it does those things. It's like when you throw the Word of God out there, it's like a rock on the ocean, on an ocean, not a lake, an ocean that ripples and ripples and ripples and mm. ripples and changes and shifts atmospheres and brings the glory of God because we're the glory carriers and we're the ones on this earth that speaks to mountains on behalf of nations, on behalf of elections, Amen. on behalf of we are responsible to speak to that mountain that stands before any of us and see the kingdom of God established. Mm -hmm. yes. Speak it, decree it. Just literally talk like God. You know, yeah. you, you hear people saying, oh, I'm getting old, I have no memory, oh my gosh, my <laughs> mail, mail. No, 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 we, no, we mustn't say that. We have the minds of Christ yes. as Christians. Mm -hmm. And that's what we speak. Wait a minute, I have total recall. Thank you, Lord, for oh, giving me that. That's and he does. And he does. Well, you've got to <laughs> learn to talk like God. Yes. You can't say, oh, I'm afraid, I'm scared. That's, that's falling into the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. You say, I do not, Bible says, I do not have a spirit of fear, fear. Right. but power right. and love that's and the sound exactly. mind. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing I'm receiving. You know, I always think of the story about Jesus 
who told all his disciples, get in the boat, we're going to the other side. So Jesus says, we're going to the other side. They're going to the other side. Well, there became a storm and the disciples became so afraid, so fearful. And they looked over at Jesus and he's sleeping in the bottle. And quickly they woke him up and we're, we're perishing. We're going to die. We're going to die. And you're sleeping now. What are you going to do? And Jesus, I'm sure he just shook his head <laughs> and calmly stood up and spoke to peace, the wind and the rain. Down. And I've done that. I've done that. I, had, I, I was having a party once. I was living in Colorado. It used to rain every day at about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I knew that the party was at that time. Mm -hmm. And when I'd see those clouds coming in, I literally got on the loudspeaker and I said, no, in the name of Jesus, yes. you will not rain. And the, the clouds <laughs> would open up again. I had to do that about three or four times, wow. but we had a great party. It reminds me of my only child's Then when the party wedding, ended thing. at six o'clock, mm -hmm. it poured like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what happens. That's yeah. what happened. It ended, my yeah. son, too, his day of his wedding was outside <clears throat> at a gardens, which mm. was so beautiful. And I had ordered all of these big uh, monarch butterflies to Aww. let off <clears throat> instead Aww. of rice, you know. And I uh, got them for the other parents and us, and we were going to let those butterflies off. And anyways, his brother, everybody was here. I mean, my whole family from everywhere flew in. And, and it was quite, you know, I think there was about 200 people there or so. And, or maybe even more. But uh, uh, the, all of a sudden, all the tornadoes, all the storm, it was so bad. And they would not have been able to get married. Of course, they shut down the city. Everybody's got to hide and all that. And his brother was here. And I went out on the uh, porch, did exactly what you did, and I spoke to that mountain. I said, you will not ruin my own yes. child's wedding today. <laughs> you will stop it. I pushed that thing back. The immediately, the clouds pushed back, the sun shone, and his brother was like, he was really close. I love it. He still says He'll never forget that. He still that. says mm -hmm. this day. I can't believe that. Like that. He'll yeah. never forget said, that. And wow. you know what? They got married. And it didn't rain till we got to that re reception hall. And when I let off the butterflies and they let them off, one put perfectly on her bouquet and right here on her dress. Mm. I mean, perfectly. It Aww. was so beautiful. And that's God. And what do butterflies represent? New beginnings. That's right. Mm -hmm. New life. Mm. Yeah. You know, and it, it just, God just proved himself over and over and over that when we speak to the mountains, it happens. The, the winds have to obey. They mm -hmm. have to obey him. That's right. But everything has to obey. And, you know, I know some of you are saying, well, we all prayed for that hurricane that devastated Florida. You know, we can't go by that one um, incident. I've prayed for them. I tried to stop that, you know, hurricane. I mean, it, but a lot of people like Rodney's church, I mean, they prayed oh, and nobody got, God. none of the, none of their stuff mm -hmm. was touched. I don't know why some were, you know, totally wiped out and some wasn't. I can't answer that question, mm -hmm. but I know we had the authority to push that thing back and it didn't do the damage that it could have done. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, you know, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you started. Go, go ahead. ahead. Because we. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you go. Oh, well, <laughs> they just threw that out. Well, you know that God put a law yes, into place. You, you I know, maybe I better talk. <laughs> God put a law into place. And so That's when He cute. made all of this, He said, whatever you think and whatever you speak and what manifests is always going to be a perfect match. Yes. And the world has tried to take that and turn it into the secret or whatever yeah. and try to uh, <clears throat> make money off of that. But that's actually a God-given thing that he's given yes. us authority when he gave us dominion <clears throat> over the earth. So our thoughts, and that's why it says do not believe, and that's why it says to speak, it's because it, it's a perfect antidote to actually get what you want. Like Charlene and Lana, they didn't doubt in their minds. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. knew if they stood out there, it would move. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. There's, there's, we don't always know the reason why some prayers get answered and some right. don't. Exactly. But I do believe that a lot of times it's the way we pray. I, I hear these, what I call them, wimpy prayers that make me want to throw up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where, where somebody will say, oh, Maybe. Lord, if just heal Jimmy's cancer. And, you know, and I hate that when people say, oh, my cancer, or right, my arthritis. Yeah. And they're just, they're, they're already Devils. putting it back there, back on themselves. Yes. Yeah. And um, it's, it's taking that rightful authority. And I think mm -hmm. just some of us, we don't pray right so we don't get the uh, the answers that we need and we don't appropriate the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus no. like we should. That is yeah. the most powerful force in the universe. I agree. In the mm -hmm. name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. Yes. And yes. when you right. do that, I cover my family with the blood of Jesus every day. 
Mm -hmm. Every day, every day. I do too. And mm -hmm. we just, that's how we pray. That's how we live. What else can you trust in in this oh, world yeah. today mm -hmm. for protection over your family? Right, so yeah. we trust in him and that's how we, Amen. we have to know how to pray and use our rightful authority that God has given us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then our kids learn from that too. Yes, you know? Amen. I mean, we sure are do. the examples right. for them. Mm -hmm. It's just, mm -hmm. it's amazing how many things my son still shocks me when he comes up with something and I'll go, oh, gee, we did okay. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking sometimes you wonder, you think, oh, Oh, through, through sometimes I'm like, oh my God, what I happened? Have. Did I really do anything? You know, <laughs> yep. and then he'll say something like he'll send me a text, and I'm thinking, yeah, this boy's got it together. Yeah, he's because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he loves God and he prays with all of his heart and stuff, but he doesn't, you know, he doesn't live the best life, you know, sometimes. But you yep. know that God loves him and he loves him, and God will get a hold of his yes. heart the right yeah. way oh, because he's he a good God. Faithful, and with that, that, we gotta go. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, it flies by <laughs> when you're having a good time. <laughs> but won't you receive Jesus today? We've talked so much about speaking to the mountain, and you have to have your authority, and yes. all authority has been given to Jesus. And since we sit in the place that he did when he ascended on high, he set us in the same place with him, so we have that authority yeah. here on earth. And if you want things to change, and you want to speak with authority, and you want to believe, then just ask Jesus into your heart today. Just say, Jesus, <laughs> come into my heart. Be the Lord of my life. Forgive me of my sin. That's the biggest thing. That yes. you just repent for the things that you've done, and guess what? Then you guys are gonna you're gonna move on. <coughs> this is your this is your first step. You know, you just he 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 comes in, and then you know you did this, and then <coughs> you guys are gonna go on a journey, and it'll be a good journey. Trust me. And then you ask Jesus to baptize you with the Holy <coughs> Spirit with fire and give you your prayer language. <coughs> And that's going to give you the power to walk this whole thing out. And, you know, your heavenly language, you've got to have it literally will get you through. I can pray in the natural forever and nothing moving. I start praying in the spirit and bam, things start shifting and moving. And so you just need that. And plus it builds you up in your most holy faith. But if you said that prayer today and asked Jesus into your life, and I always say this, don't you dare let the devil say, no, nah, listen, you don't know what I've done, lady. Yes, I do know what you've done. Well, I know, don't know what you've done. <laughs> but I know that it's been sin and God forgives it. That's why he came while we were yet sinners. He wants you just the way you are, okay? So please receive him today and then call us and tell us about it. I know many of you are probably just so broken, you're sobbing. You can't even say the prayer. You can't even say, follow me. You, but God knows in your heart that you're crying out to him that you want him and you want what we're saying he knows that he can communicate that and then you're saved okay call and tell somebody or call our prayer lines and tell us we love you jesus loves you more please go to our website today get this anointing oil everybody needs anointing oil and it's fabulous <coughs> and guess what you'll help us keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And hey, if we've been a blessing to you, you there's many of you that tell me, you sit <laughs> down and do Bible studies, you watch us faithfully, you, you know, and if you do, won't you become a partner with us on our website? Just, you, you don't have to give millions. <laughs> if everybody just gave $5 a month, we could do everything we need to do, you know, if enough of you did that. So thank you very much for joining us. Oh, it's only goodbye for today. We're so excited. Share God's view, won't you? And remember this. Just remember this. God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. And listen, he has a big plan for your life. Don't let the devil lie to you, okay? We love you. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's view.